Welcome to November in Ontario. It gets dark soon. It's only 4 o'clock. Uh, here is a piece of Spanish cedar um, and is quartered mostly. Um, you can see the, the grain is in this direction so uh, if you were to cut that off you'd have a perpendicular quartered guitar neck I guess. That's the kind of a good use for this material. And you can see the kind of straight the nature of the grain is very, very, very straight. It's uh, stable versus the slab side, which in some cases uh, is, is much more beautiful, or we're not going to get much out of that. But anyway, the grain is, you know, the, the definition is, is, is totally different than the quartered look. So there's a piece of uh, cedar, which is a good example. Now here is a, an AA top. That's what it looked like, kind of rough sawn, but I just cut the end off and I'll uh, give it a coat of uh, shellac to uh, protect it, of course, but also to kind of highlight the grain. And you should be able to see that the grain is very much perpendicular to the way it'll be cut, not unlike the uh, flitch example I was talking about on the blackboard. So there's a, you know, a prudent use of a flitch cut, and of course that's a magnificent piece. In contrast to that, here's a, a piece of cherry that's been cut and weathered a little bit, which is kind of uh, useful because you can see how much it's, although it was stacked, how much it's still kind of uh, moved over time. And just this coating this one when my battery ran out. As you can see, The slab look can be very, very beautiful uh, versus the regular straight grain of the quarter. So, I mean, there's a, there's a place for it, uh, especially if you can manage uh, its tendencies after the fact. 